let's talk about responsibility and responsibility being the bedrock really to success. And what is innate in that is when you own your actions, when you take responsibility for the things that happen, whether they be good or bad, when they're good, you can share out the winnings of that. You can share out and celebrate other people as it, result, as it relates to getting results. But when something goes wrong and you take responsibility for it, when you take ownership for it, you offset the alternative, which is creating easy excuses for things. Something comes up, you can easily excuse it. You can lease, uh, easily displace it onto somebody else or something else or some broken process or something of that nature. But if you just operate under the premise that the buck stops here and that every decision that is made in an organization, if you're a leader, if you're atop the organization and you are the leader, everything stops at your desk. All the responsibility lies on you. All the celebration needs to be shared downstream. But when those things go wrong, when something goes wrong in the organization, it is on you to take responsibility for it. Now, I will give you a cautionary tale. You, in, you can end up in your lifetime working for uh, a person or in uh, a hierarchy of uh, people that might say something along the lines of, is this your latest mea culpa? Is this... Uh, just your latest excuse for, uh, or your <laughs> latest acknowledgement of doing the wrong thing all the time. It, it could come back to bite you when you take ownership and responsibility for the things that go wrong in an organization. I've seen that happen. It's discouraging and unbelievable, but I've seen it happen. But my encouragement to you is to take three things away from this conversation today, today about responsibility. Always take responsibility for those things, especially when they're in your control even when they're not necessarily in your control, ultimately, meaning they're way downstream in your hierarchy, you still take responsibility for those things. Despite what I just shared with you as a cautionary tale, just take responsibility for those things because it is the right thing to do. The, th the next thing is view your mistakes. Uh, you know, this was this mea culpa remark. They're mistakes and you own them and take them, you take them as an individual, as an opportunity to learn. It's a learning opportunity. It's an education and it is something that you don't repeat the next time, if at all possible. Um, the other thing is when you demonstrate your ability to take responsibility, you create a picture. You create an opportunity for your downstream, for those people that work for you, with you, around you to see what it is to take responsibility and you create a culture of people who take responsibility. You create a culture where taking responsibility is the right thing to do and people do that. And you create that culture and then all of a sudden your organization just takes responsibility for the things that, that are just not good outcomes and they make change so that those things don't happen again. So my call to action for you today is show up and start owning all of the decisions that go wrong in your organization, especially if you're in that leadership role. Even if you're not in that leadership role and it's part of your downstream, just take responsibility for those things. Also take responsibility for putting the solution in place that will correct those things so that you don't get the same negative outcome in a future iteration of the same problem. Now, I will tell you, there is one asterisk that I would put on that remark, and that is this, with people. When you are hiring people into your organization, you can't hit the ball off the cover a thousand percent of the time. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. You are going to hire people into your organizations that are not, at the end of the day, they don't end up being good, good culture fits. They don't end up being good personality fits. They don't end up being good skill set fits. Those things will happen in your organization. And whether one might believe that's uh, just you in your latest mea culpa, uh, despite that, that will not happen 100% of the time. You have to take responsibility for those bad hires, just like you take responsibility for bad systems, processes, disciplines in your organization. And you correct. On the people side, you correct as, you, as much as you possibly can, but you learn how to fire fast. You hire slow, you fire fast. That's it for today. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.